Okay, so you want to make a wooden spar. It's pretty simple. Cut your rib caps. Come on, focus. Cut your rib caps. Usually it's three quarter by one inch wide. Um, usually the grain goes the other way, but uh, with, I'm doing a geodetic wing, so that don't matter so much. Um, you get your rib caps cut, and then you slot them. Make sure your slots are uh, equally uh, nice, even depth, the whole length of it. And then you cut a web. That center piece is one eighth web, and you cut it so that it fits your ribs. Cut the cut the height so it fits your ribs. Try to get it snug. Then you uh, then you'll cap all the places where your web wasn't long enough. Then the other thing you got to do is you got to scarf joint your caps. Uh, of course, this uh, scarfing the caps is first. And that's five. Where is it? Five inches longer than it is wide is the angle. I usually put the two pieces together like this, and then I cut the whole length. That gets it closer, and it makes it easier to line, match them up perfectly. I have a lot of cleanup to do, but right here is your strut attach points. This here will be whacked off right there. Your aluminum pieces will go out here to attach the uh, strut. Another cap where the webbing was butted up and, uh, and then building up there's a strut attach point the uh, jury strut and then uh, building up for your carry through you just build up whatever width you need for uh, your carry through and then the rear the rear spar typically is not slotted it's just glued on to the web and uh, smaller, build it up. And then, I don't know if you can see the slight angle. Yeah, this is the top, and that's the bottom. And that's to get you dihedral. It's, on this plane, it's one quarter of an inch. I think on average, it's about one and a half degree angle is all.